Now the machine has been working for some two hours, so I'm gonna let it cool off. We'll check the oil level before changing the oil anyways, but first we can see under the undercarriage that we've got some leaking here. You can see some oil here and it probably comes from right from here, from the seal down there. Now I'm gonna unscrew these four, four, one, two, three, these three screws. This is the protection cover full of oil and dirt. Let's check the engine oil level in the meanwhile. Uh, just remember to wait some, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes uh, after working with your machine so that the oil will drain down to the system, back to the system so that you're gonna get uh, the correct reading. The dipstick is clean, let's check it. The oil level here is correct between these two marks. The question is where is the oil engine filler? This is the uh, fuel filter, this, this is the other fuel filter, this is the air filter and our oil engine filter is underneath. Here's the machine, here is where the oil will be drained from the engine and this cover for some two pipes uh, or wires will make it difficult for us to get to the filter which is there see this thing there those uh, three screws from the cover were the 17 millimeters this one for the drain plug is 19 glasses I clean my drain plug in the meanwhile with its sealant. I'm not sure you should smear it with the oil, but I will a little bit. Uh, we do it with the filter for sure, but I will put some of the new oil here as well. For this machine, I need four liters of this one, 15W40 oil. That's what was recommended to me by the Polish distributor. So four liters will land here. Okay. It 
it's so dirty and the access is so difficult. I'm gonna try to protect my arm from all that oil. Okay, got it. All right, it is so tight. I need to use a special tool for that. This is how devastated this feeler looks like after using my tool. Oh. <sighs> ha, now the question is how to get it out. This is stupid. Ah, oh, there's goop here. Okay, these wires could have been routed in a million other ways, but not this way. Uh, pulling it down doesn't help, so I just pushed it up and there over this, I think this is a frame. Uh, and then the filter came out, but it's still very, very tight. Now I'm gonna clean the, the entrance of the filter. And there you can see the thread of the filter. Now I need to squeeze the new one through this tight space without making this seal dirty, difficult. So I'm gonna do it in a bag. Okay. <sighs> okay. Guys, yeah, just about disassembling and assembling the filler filter uh, just look where the thread is and how short it is so when you want to unscrew it don't keep your tool here but as close as you can to uh, to the thread so that it it will just feel more stiff and uh, as for screwing the new one in uh, the instruction says that you should just do it by hand and then three quarter of a turn but believe me this is so tight up there that doing it by hand will be just very difficult you, you you're gonna be able to do it very very lightly so i did it then i think one and a half turn with the tool after doing it by hand four liters We know, should do it slowly then. Now I need to clean my cooler because it's gonna smell when it's hot. Okay. This looks as if it was too much. Probably when I crank the engine, the oil level will go a little bit down. <laughs> 